All right, delayed again. It'll now take longer and cost more before BART riders in San Jose can hop on board. It's a message we've heard before, right? But this time it's coming from the federal government. Here's NBC Bay Area Scott Budman with the reaction to the newest delay for BART to the South Bay. Yeah, I'm here at Diridon train station, one of the planned stops for BART when it gets to San Jose. But a new report says it could take until 2034 to get here. The Federal Transit Administration says the plan to bring BART to San Jose could now be $4 billion over VTA's original budget and take four years longer than currently planned. Describing VTA's plans to bring BART here as, quote, optimistic. But VTA says it's still making progress and is good with FTA's goals. Over the next two years in advancing your design and as you do that, demonstrate to us uh, and present a more cost certain and schedule certain project. And this is not the first time we've heard about BART delays. Well, there's no question that this project is going to cost more and it's going to take longer. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo points out the FTA is still helping to fund the extension, but warns that discussions about changing the way the tunnels are built will only make things take longer. So. Adding three years and hundreds of millions of dollars of cost to this project because someone wants to switch horses midstream is not an optimal strategy to getting to the finish line. For now, VTA says commuters should know BART is still on its way. I want commuters in the South Bay and taxpayers in, in Santa Clara County to know that VTA is working diligently to deliver this project and bring it in with you know the cost and the schedule that we can do that's best for the public in san jose scott budman nbc bay area news